Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. Well, I'm excited. It's already the weekend, and I already have full plans, so I'm hoping it doesn't rain on any of those plans, Aaron. You know, it doesn't look like it will. Most of us are going to remain dry for us, although there are a few showers out and about. There's one that just popped up near Carlsbad, returning to dry conditions as we go into the weekend, below normal temperatures, and then a chance for showers overnight Sunday into Monday morning, just in time to start off that new work week. Here's what our almanac got to today. We made it to a high of 89. That is well below average for us. We're normally 97 for daytime highs this time of the year. 106 is that record back in 1939. This morning's low of 70 is below average as well as far as daytime lows go. Let's take a look at what's going on currently out at Mathis Field. It's 86 degrees. Feels like 91 with humidity of 59%. Winds are on the east at 18 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 29.92 inches and falling. And current, currently across the region, temperatures look like this. We're generally in the upper 80s, even some low 90s. 91 in Sterling City, 86 in Ozona, 79 over in Brady, 76 down in Junction, they've had quite a bit of cloud cover and a few showers across that area, so that's helped keep their temperatures down. If you're looking for something fun to do this evening, downtown movie nights across from the Cactus Hotel in downtown San Angelo. Tonight's feature is going to be the Adams Family, and things are looking pretty good for that movie time downtown tonight across from the Cactus Hotel. Bring your lawn chairs, bring your blankets for the kids to sit out on, and bring some money for the concessions. I know how the kids are going to be. They're going to want food when they're out there at the movie, so make sure you have some money for those concessions. Otherwise, it's a free movie. Temperatures are going to be in the 80s, mid-80s by 8 o'clock. We'll get into the low 80s by 9 o'clock, 9.15 when the movie starts, and then by 10 o'clock, temperatures falling into those upper 70s, partly cloudy conditions expected for us this evening. Here's what's going on on the live radar right now. We've got a couple of showers out and about here into our southern communities and across Arizona. Got some scattered showers across Crockett County there around the I-10 area and there is a light shower up near the Carlsbad area so seeing some of those pop up across the area those are going to start to fade away as we head towards the sunset time you can see them spinning with our low pressure system here in Texas that's been driving all of this remember this low was way back down into South Texas closer to the Gulf of Mexico pulling in that Gulf moisture now it's moving towards the west now and it's pulling some of that moisture with it so some of our southern communities really getting in on some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not so much for us as we go through the rest of this weekend, or at least the first half, mostly sunny conditions, highs in the low to mid 90s. And then as we go Sunday night into Monday morning, here comes our next system with some more scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for us. Highs in the lower 90s for us as we go into the beginning of next week. We're going to warm up with sunny conditions throughout much of next week. Highs are going to get into those 90s, maybe even mid to upper 90s for daytime highs through the middle of next week with mostly dry conditions. Now, if you're planning on spending some time out on the water, here are reservoir capacities across the area. Lake Nasworthy at 84% full, Twin Buttes at 51, OHIV at 59, OC Fishers at 5% full. And as we go into tonight, here's what to expect. We'll drop down to around 70 degrees for a low, mostly cloudy conditions. Southeast winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Saturday, topping out near 92 with partly cloudy conditions. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour as we go through the next five days. It's going to be dry for the first part of our weekend. And then we'll watch for some chances for some showers and thunderstorms Sunday night into Monday morning. Temperatures are generally going to be in those low 90s for daytime highs until we get to next week with a little more sunshine. Then we'll get closer to those mid to upper 90s for daytime highs. We'll have more KCN news right after this.